But before their big performance, the girls got to speak with Susanna, life coach to the stars. In this never-before-seen moment, a few of the girls got valuable insights in their one-on-one -on -one sessions. How are you? Good. This is our time to do our one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. And um, I'm going to get to know you a little more. I'm just going to tell you my first impression. There's a lot of suppressed anger. Like, I feel like when you're performing in front of the judges, have they all adored you the whole way through? Um, up and down. Up and down. But at some moments, they feel that I'm not a stronger vocalist as the rest of the group. So you're not going to be a lead singer ever? Oh, definitely I am, because I've been in girl groups for a long time. I've right. I've done a lot of girl groups together, and I have done leads before. Yeah. So I don't... You're, you're cocky enough, which is nice. Oh, yeah, I'm very confident. I'm really not one of the people who don't like performances at all. So everything up to this point that's negative, mm -hmm. you've overcome from yes. what you're telling mm -hmm. me? I have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Christina. <laughs> this is my impression. Um, there's a little bit of identity. A little confusion on identity going on here. I don't quite know who you are. You know, I can I can honestly say like you're, you know, thinking of w what I am. No, what? it's what you gave me. That's what I've got when I've seen you, and what I need is you right now. Right. How are you doing? I'm good. Now you have a beautiful face. You do, and I'm sure you're very powerful very very powerful you sing and you dance you've got this energy that's very enticing i want you to give it everything you've got because you deserve it you created this moment and everything that is talented in you everything that's powerful is all going in that this is it and i bet you could blow the room out I had a few things to say. I felt that you weren't telling, being honest at all. And I think that was cool. Honest about what? I, about the whole situation with Ken, you know what I mean? I had to beg you to go back in there. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I didn't. I looked over at Karen and I was like, I was looking at her, I was like, you know what? It would make me look like a punk if I didn't go back in there. I told you that. I feel like it makes you look like a punk. What I would do, I tell him for myself all the time, I'd go back in there. How are you? I just want to say that for me, at that moment, it was an insecurity and it was a weakness, and that is why I walked out. And it had nothing to do with how angry I was. It was how angry I was at myself. The way you described it is like, you know, I had, a, I, had to, I had to step outside for a breather and I, I walked right back in there. But that wasn't true. Like, you stepped out because you were pissed. I was pissed. I was also hurt. The way you made it seem was not how it really was. What you explained happened was not the truth. Yes, it was. Whether or not you were there, I would have walked back in that room. And I swear that to God. I would have walked back in that room. And that's why I did it. You didn't put a gun to my head. You know what I'm saying? And, and so you don't take credit for that because I walked in there. You see what I'm saying? And I apologize. And that's how I see the situation. And I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. You know what? Another thing, Tiffany, is like since we're talking about opinions here, like honestly, you are such a negative person and negative vibe to have in the house. You know, you sit here and you act one way. And in the house, you're a whole different person. The things you say, the way you act, the attitude you give. I am 100% honest all the time. You're not. No, when have I ever lied to you? It's not about lying. You'll sit no, here. No, yeah, yeah. You'll sit here. You're putting up. You're I'm putting up an act, though, Tiffany. You're no, up, I'm you know. Not. Let's take it in the streets. You want to get there? You, that's what you said to us. You said you want to take it to the streets. You lucky way in the streets. You know, girl, this. It's not all hood here. You know what I'm saying? Like the way you made it seem was like you were the most ghetto person in the world. And I don't understand what you said if we were in the streets. Would you hit me if we were in the streets, Tiffany? Would you? Because I would never hit you ever. If I feel something is not right, I will voice my opinion. I'm very opinionated. So if I feel like a situation is negative, I'll speak of it negatively. If I think of a situation is positive, I'll speak of it positively. Tiffany likes to get in arguments. It's like, shut up, because at the end of the day, it's where I am and where the judges are, and that's all that matters to me. Talk to the wall, talk to your opinion. In the end, Jenna 